Yo, Bob here. Um, out on a, gu a guitar safari, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, at Groons. Stack knob. Eighteen five. So uh, we're out here at Carter's Vintage Guitars in Nashville, and we're gonna go inside and see what they got. Yo, stop the vlog. That Ibanez TS-808 Tube Screamer actually belonged to Stevie Ray Vaughan. It is fully documented and currently for sale for $12,000. That's right, folks, 12 grand. Also today in Carter's Vintage Guitars is a Charlie's Guitars Stratocaster 
in white with lipstick pickups. These are awesome Stevie Ray Vaughan artifacts. And, um, you know, it's not really my thing to collect, like, people stuff or anything. But it's really cool to see this stuff. And uh, I really felt like I needed to stop the video and explain what you were seeing there. So, uh, let's get back to the action right now. <laughs> Rumble Seat, Music, Nashville, uh, incredible shop. Uh, Elliot, uh, who owns the shop, is one hell of a guy. Highly suggest that you go check him out. Yo, what's up, Bob here. Um, back from my uh, guitar safari. Uh, super long day in Nash Vegas. Uh, that's Nashville uh, for the uninitiated. A great day. Seen a lot of awesome guitars. <sighs> Some almost purchases, but uh, 
no actual purchases. I've seen so many awesome things, and <clears throat> uh, I did buy one thing that I thought was pretty cool. I bought this um, from Carter Vintage. It's a, a Mexican peso pick, which I think is uh, pretty neato. You know, I, I buy a lot of picks. I can't help it. You know, picks are very important. They're the, um, your most direct connection to the guitar, unless you're using your fingers. <clears throat> that said, um, you know, guys, every time I uh, go on one of these guitar things, I realize that rarity is really just a... Um, it's just a word. Uh, if Rarity all depends on if you have the money to buy something. Today I've seen probably no fewer than 15 50s Les Paul. So, you know, <laughs> like I said, rarity is a uh, relative term sometimes. Awesome day. And, um, yeah. Mexican peso picks. All right, moving right along. All right, all right, all right. So I was a little <clears throat> blasted after the trip to Nashville. So um, let me give some real thoughts on this Nashville trip. The first um, thought that I have that is uh, very powerful with me right now is bass players. Man, oh man, can you get some awesome vintage equipment at a relatively affordable price as compared to guitar players. Man, there were some cool basses out there today. Just vibing all over the place. Um, next, the last time I was in Nashville, uh, I was looking for Blackguard Telecasters. And there were plenty of them around. Eh, there were less um, this time around. Uh, it was deep, deep on uh, Rosewood fretboard 60s, early 60s, and late 60s Stratocasters. Um, there's a bunch of them around. You know, people would say that the market is soft on strats right now. Uh, I would admit that there's probably a glut of them available. Uh, but the, pri uh, the asking price, let, let's be clear about this. What you ask for and what you get are often two different things. But the asking price is um, in the high 20s. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's not like um, they might say the market is soft on strats right now, but uh, the prices are not so soft. That said, I played several and they were all freaking awesome. I, I'm dying for a Rosewood fretboard Stratocaster right now. <laughs> um I was really uh, kind of looking at acoustic guitars a lot and um, kind of some SGs and stuff. Yeah. I, I didn't end up getting anything but the pick and um, seeing the cool Stevie Ray stuff. And if you noticed in um, Rumble Seat music, there were two guitars there from the Stones. One that was Ronnie Woods and one that is um, Keith Richards. And uh, wow... Wow, cool, cool guitars. Um, there was some, man, Rumble Seat, that is a really cool shop. While I was there, I was seeing lots of cool amps and uh, seeing that old Tube Screamer really made me uh, feel like coming home and firing up some vintage gear for you. Um, so I will probably leave you on a little um, demonstration of sorts of my 1966 Super Reverb 58 Strat and the TS-808 Mini, or well, it's just called the Tube Screamer Mini. But I've compared this to the um, to a real 808 and it's relatively close so <clears throat> seeing that old tube screamer really uh got me revved up to do this so 
we'll do that now and I'll see you next time. Please like, subscribe, tell a friend. Until next time, peace. Thank <laughs> you.